Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Tennessee Volunteers land a commitment from one of the more intriguing pass catchers in the 2024 class and four-star wide receiver from the state of South Carolina, Braylon Staley. And you take one look at this kid's film and you completely get why Josh Heupel wanted him. Like he kind of checks all the boxes off of what Tennessee wants in a wide receiver. A guy who can work vertically down the field, right? Sub 11 second, 100 meter track track speed. You see that on the film. But what's more important about a guy like Braylon Staley in my mind after watching him is the ball skills and how well he tracks the football and how well he can go up and make contested catches vertically down the field. That's something that's a little bit rare. You see a lot of these wide receivers with burners, they're verified track speeds. They're they're really, really fast dudes that can work vertically. What sets wide receivers apart are the guys who can go up and make plays in those combat situations. Braylon Staley, his film is littered with some ridiculous catches. This dude is extremely talented when addressing the ball in the air. Excited to get into him. But we're also going to take a look at what this 2024 class could be for the Tennessee Volunteers because they're trending for some top targets and you take a look at the month of July, this could be a very, very exciting next couple of weeks for Tennessee fans. So we're going to talk about some of the guys they've had on campus, who they have a shot on to land in the month of July. Before we do, though, just want to say thank you to you guys. It's been just a blast talking high school recruit, even going back to talking Boo Carter as a Michigan fan. That was a tightly contested battle. Y'all guys won that one, but appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. We had a lot of good conversations. You guys know a lot about your ball at Tennessee. So I, I don't get those chances to have those conversations in my in my real life, you know, talking recruiting. So appreciate you guys for rocking with us, getting active in the comment section. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Again, over 6,000 subscribers is truly insane. So if you do enjoy the content, lock in. It's going to be a busy next couple months, and I'm going to do my best to talk all these commitments in the month of July. Let's get into Braylon Staley, though, because he is – a guy that is extremely exciting. I kind of want to just get right into the film on him. We talked about the track speed. We talked about the ball skills. I want to have you guys be able to see what I'm talking about because like real catches. When that football is in the air, when he has to battle a defensive back for that ball, a lot of times he's winning. One thing that jumps out, not only the ball skills, but just the ball in the air, but the body addressing the football at the highest point. And there's a lot to like about him. And you're going to see, he just got burners too, right? Like, he's a guy that, if he's by, he, he just gets by you, catches the ball, and when he has the open grass, like, he is taking it to the house. something that, as a Michigan fan, I can kind of relate to in the sense that if you want to see your out of high school, where you want to the going to let you go be a playmaker, play for the and Michigan has a lot of 12 personnel, a lot of running the football. So when it comes to attracting these big name wide receivers, it's sometimes hard for Michigan to do. Tennessee, like these guys, they want to go play in this Josh Hyper offense. This dude is a very exciting prospect for Tennessee. And you take a look at what their class is looking like in 2024. This is their 15th commitment. They're sitting right around that top 10 rank. One thing to note, a lot of those teams you see in the top 10, those are teams that have already 20 plus commits in the boat. Tennessee only has 15 and I could see them filling it up to 23 commits in this class. And you're looking at a bona fide top eight class in the country. And what's more exciting is what it could look like. And we're going to talk a little bit about that, but I do want to talk about how this class is coming together. And One of the things is the quarterback play, right? You land big Nico in the class of 2023, arguably the number one player in that class. And then you land Jake Merklinger in 2024. That is hard to do. It's hard to land two elite quarterbacks in back-to-back classes. That says a lot about what Josh Heupel is doing with this offense and kind of convincing these quarterbacks to come in. You might have to wait your turn, but you're going to, when you hit the field, for 10, you're talking about Joe Millen, who hasn't been a starter for a full season at all. He's getting a first round buzz. And I, yeah, he's extremely talented with his arm. But a lot of people are just kind of projecting that he's going to put up some numbers in this Josh Heupel offense. It's really exciting that they have two top quarterbacks. And then it suddenly becomes a lot easier to recruit these top targets at the wide receiver position, right? A Braylon Staley, Mike Matthews, who we'll talk about in a little bit. It, those guys, they want to see two things, right? 
do I know who's going to be throwing me the football and are they good? Yeah, Nico and Jake, you feel pretty good about that. Then am I, am I going to be in an offense that is going to let me be a playmaker and let me excel? Yeah, Josh Heupel's offense certainly checks that box. Looking at some of the guys they have in the commits, and we've talked about some of these guys again. Jonathan Eccles, I'm kind of banging the table for him to play that edge role. Again, I know why he wants to play like that tight end role in this Tennessee offense. You're going to score a lot of touchdowns. You're going to be able to make plays. But, man, do I think he could be a good edge rusher. You have Max Anderson in the class. I really like him and Peyton Lewis. And then Boo Carter, one of my favorite players in the class of 2024, a dude that is going to be able to play in the box. I think he could be one of the best nickel cornerbacks in college football in a couple of years. This class is coming together. But more importantly, let's talk about all the talent that Tennessee's had on campus in the month of June and why I think it could be such an exciting month of July for Tennessee fans. And it starts with five-star wide receiver Mike Matthews, who it does seem like Tennessee has the inside track on. And all those things we just talked about, why Braylon Staley would want to come to Tennessee. That goes the same for Mike Matthews, right? You're going to be playing in an elite offense with elite quarterback play. You're going to be able to put up numbers, right? Jalen Hyde just wins the Blitnikoff last year. This is a Mike Matthews is a kind of player that can do the exact same thing. But what's more exciting for Tennessee fans, I don't have that many questions about Josh Heupel being able to recruit quarterbacks and wide receivers. Like, there is going to be a line out the door for those guys to come in and play. And quite frankly, whoever they grab at quarterback and wide receiver, I'm confident that they're going to be able to succeed in this Josh Heupel offense. What Tennessee fans, I think, want and are excited about to take that next step is getting some difference makers on the defensive side of the ball. And I think this Tennessee staff and Josh Heupel have put a lot of emphasis on getting some of those difference makers. You take a look at last weekend and who they had on campus, five-star edge rusher Elijah Rushing, crazy, crazy wingspan, 6'5", 255 pounds. I don't know if Tennessee, it sounds like Oregon's probably in the lead, but if you're a Tennessee fan and you saw some of those videos, it does sound like he had a good time. And Just the mere fact that you're getting some of those elite caliber guys on the defensive line on campus, that's exciting in and of itself. And you have a lot when it comes to what this class could look like. You've had a lot of that elite defensive talent visit campus. You can say very similar things about Jordan Ross, who it sounds like Tennessee might even be on the inside track for for his recruitment too, battling out teams like Georgia. But he's visited Tennessee a bunch. And then talking about guys going down the list to um, who they had on campus the weekend prior, Williams and Winnery and Cameron Franklin, two elite defensive linemen. Williams and Winnery has been getting a lot of buzz to Georgia and Tennessee lately, right? In the spring, it was Oklahoma, and Oklahoma almost landed that commitment. They were talking about the number two player in the whole entire country, the number one defensive line prospect in the 2024 class. And then Cam Franklin from the state of Mississippi, it sounds like Tennessee's leading for him too. If you just land two out of the four of these guys and Cam Franklin, Jordan Ross, Elijah Russian, or Williams and Winnery, you're feeling really good about what this defensive line could look like in the future. And that's what we're talking about in terms of taking that next step. Another guy I want to talk about, and we're going to go back up here to uh, Bennett Warren, who a Michigan lean for a while, but it sounds like Michigan has filled their offensive line class. Bennett Warren's a guy that he might need to pivot and take a look at some other schools. And it does sound like Tennessee would be a nice fit for him. And you're talking about Max Anderson, Bennett Warren, two of the top tackle prospects in this class. It, this class is looking like it could be really special, right? And uh, you take a look at all the talent they had on campus during the month of June. It's going to be a very, very exciting next couple next couple of weeks for the Tennessee Volunteers, just in terms of who they've had on campus, who they're in the lead for. I can see this class being a top eight, top six class in the country if they can land on some of these top guys. And again, the wide receivers, the offensive playmakers, I'm not worried about. Like I, I really think Josh Heupel, it, one, I think a lot of people could succeed in that Josh Heupel offense. And then two, if you're an elite kid, you want to go play for Josh Heupel in that Tennessee offense. Now on the defensive side of the ball, that's probably your bigger question mark. And again, it seems like Tennessee is putting themselves in really good spots to land some of these top guys like a Cam Franklin, a Jordan Ross, Williams and Winnery. Uh, Elijah rushing. If you land two out of the four of those guys, or even just one out of four of those guys, you're suddenly feeling really good about where this class is in 2024. It's going to be an exciting next couple of weeks for Tennessee fans. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.